In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall I be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Drink up. 
It's got electrolytes. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Fine, I won't disturb you. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? No brook here. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. 
I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell in the 1980s? We'd suffocate from all the hairspray. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Gross. The Vortex Club are such pigs. I'm glad I pissed them off. I didn't think Kate was like this. Macking on those bros? Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. Go away! People sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Curiosity killed the Max. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Trevor is making himself comfortable. Ugh, hope they don't get busted. This is both sad and pathetic.